Ah, yes, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the Wandering Wind. I'm going to be playing through as much of the Sumeru storyline as, well, as I possibly can tonight, because I'm behind on a lot of it. So, but I accidentally got to the edge of Fontaine, so that's why I'm on the main on the main menu screen is because I'm going to be letting you guys see the um, entry into Fontaine cutscene with me. Because I didn't realize that as soon as you teleport there, you get a cutscene. So, yeah. How y'all doing tonight? Good to see you. I am working on getting a decent um, streaming theme set up. I'm going to try in the next couple of days to edit together a custom <laughs> countdown. Woohoo! Is this the region of Fontaine? Dang, it's beautiful! Oh, yeah, I'm... Mm-hmm. Yes. I love it. <laughs> Still have to finish Sumeru quests. So... <laughs> Okay. How do I... Hmm. Hmm. How do I get rid of chat logs? There we go. That works. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so. I'm going to actually go back to Caravan Robot and see about continuing the 3. what 2. Was it the 3.2 quest line that led up to this? I think so. And then 3.3 .3 was fighting. Um, Sounds like you're starting to get familiar with the area. Oh, yeah, definitely. I know, right? I know what you mean. I had the same question every time I walked this way when I was. That's here. some pretty tall cliffs. So, why is this high wall here? And can a wall really... It was only after I grew up that I realized the wall of Samiel isn't just there to keep out the sandstorms. It serves a more important purpose, keeping out people like us. Oof, dang. That's a bit, uh... <laughs> That's just a bit, um... Is run by wise and mighty sages. Negative, <laughs> Us desert dwellers are nothing but tools that can be used and discarded at their whim. We're cheap Oof. labor, like livestock, but easier to control. Oh, boy. More. Even if a child from the desert got the chance to obtain an Akasha terminal, almost all their requests for knowledge would be denied. The academia believes we're underserving. Oof. Geniuses like Sitaria are one in a million. The other children never get a single chance to try and rewrite their fate. Even though the academia knows very well that we're humans, just as they are. Right, right. That's I would tear down this wall with my own hands if I could. Hey, Kevin, thanks for liking the live, man. Uh, you're not thinking about doing anything scary, are you? 
Uh, no. No, not at all, not at all. This place just gets me thinking, that's all. All right, then. Besides, we're here to procure information, aren't we? Mm-hmm. We gotta catch those... Shh. Shh. Caravan Rebot is crawling with people, so be careful what you say. <sighs> we don't want anyone to find out what we're here for. Our right. mission started the moment we arrived here. Let's go check out the tavern. Maybe we'll find someone I know. Okay. Go to the tavern. Got it. How do you guys like the uh, graphics on this? I tell you what, I love what, is that, what I was able to do with this thing. And I don't know why, but my... Video seems to be lagging a bit. I wonder. Maybe if I drop it down to 30, it'll help. Here we go. That seems to help a bit. It's not as smooth as I like it, but oh well. Just our luck. None of them are here today. Don't see anyone you know? Dia, is that you? Mm. <laughs> what a coincidence. You ready for you a drink, drink too? too? Hmm? Zaki. <laughs> Finally a friendly face. <laughs> Zaki. Oh, then who do you have with you here? Guests from the other land? I guess so. Yep. Hello, hello nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Zaki. Dia's, uh, how would you put it? Drinking buddy? Thanks. Yeah, I was, uh, basically what I did was I used the game filter f setting on, um, NVIDIA's, NVIDIA's graphics software and then just tweaked it to my liking. Basically, I just added a bit more color, um, sharpen or increase the details a bit. You know, stuff like that. And just... Small things to make it look nicer. Increasing the contrast between the light and the shadows to really give colors a good pop. <laughs> We've had drinks together a few times. You could say we go back a ways. <laughs> anyway, as far as my friends here, they aren't too shabby, are they? You rarely see any outlander so friendly and respectful nowadays. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Much better than those people on the other side of the wall. Yeah. So, are you looking for someone? Hmm. Oh yeah, me too. I love a high contrast. Just something to really yeah. make. Have you seen Ezra Delvar or Jabari recently? Of course I have. Matter of fact, we were all here drinking together just a few days ago. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh good lord, I had to turn on my fan. It's getting warm up here. Okay. And turn it on low. There we go. Just enough to give me a breeze without blowing out the microphone too much. <laughs> I've got a spice trading deal from another nation. I thought maybe Delavar and his friends might be interested. No know where I can find them? Ah, how thoughtful of you. Then I assume you also know that Delavar's been having a hard time making ends meet these days. So, you came here to help him out? Hey, <laughs> keep it down. Let's just say I prefer to keep this deal a secret. Mm -hmm. Call it Caravan Rebot are like family. If there's more to be made... Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Together. Besides, Delavar... Thank you so much, Swole. I appreciate you. ...fit for escorting the goods. Oh. Eh, you guys can still see me. It's all right. I've got a, I've got my lights on a, on a timer so that at some point during the night they just turn off by themselves. Fisher, uh, we don't we don't go for um, jokes like that, man. <laughs> yes, how considerate of you. Delavar's my friend too, so of course I can take you to him. Come with, come me. with me. Okay. Sure. Why do I have Farzana on my 
Oh, because... But... <laughs> I love it! Is this the new character menu? <laughs> My goodness! That is cool! Alrighty. Leave it to me! Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. So cute. Oh, wait, what? No, I don't want that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I've been waiting for you for ages. I'm not playing Fortnite. I'm not a big fan of Fortnite. I don't like it. All right, and then, let's see. Hmm. Give me this one. Give me that one. Give me that one. That one's good. Give me that one. To me, Fortnite is not fun. It's not, not that I don't like it. It's that I like a, a different kind of game. I like games that give me story. I don't like games that just... Yeah. I'm not so much of a competitive guy as I am just exploring the world and finding out what everything's going, what's going on and what and what's happening. All right, yep. Yeah. Let's do that so I can get them. There yet. That's your opinion. Yep. yep. This place is practically deserted. What are they doing in a place like this? <laughs> Why don't you take a guess? Go on. A wild stab in the dark. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, no! Of course it is. <sighs> What's this all about, Saki? Come on, dear. You not only do I know that you're looking for Delavar, I also know. Th so you've been watching us. Uh -oh. <laughs> Crap. So you and Delavar. <laughs> but you got one thing right. If that's the case, then I'm sure. I'll be honest with you. If it weren't for what you said in the bit, Delavar <laughs> and Anger, you're here too, huh? Great. We got some troublemakers. <laughs> yeah. See, there. You're not wrong. Mercenaries are driven by Mora, and my faith lies with whoever's paying me. As long as there's a profit to be made, anyone can become my friend. Enough talking! Get him! <laughs> Just as I expected. Let's teach him a lesson, Traveler. Hey, let's teach him a lesson. Following order. New punching bag. Come on. Come here. Let the show me. <laughs> yes. Hey. Impossible. So, what do you think about your meticulous network now, Zaki? How did you say it? It's only natural for a traveling mercenary like me to be out of the loop. True. I'm guessing your informant told you that I'm just an incompetent merc with no real fighting skills, correct? 
I mean, and of course you would believe ev even though you heard we went that so-called flame, that's what you thought. <sighs> and you were stupid enough to fall <clears throat> for it. I figured as much the first time we drank together. Ouch. Okay. Whoa. So you've been planning this since we were in our village? No task can be done without preparation. I just happened to notice a couple suspicious looking people while you were out investigating. Oh, but instead of catching them right away, you let them report back. That way you can get the rest of them. Snooping around were just a couple small fry. Oh, you mean the fact that's just a bunch of drunk talk. Enger and Del of Alcohol has a way of What about Zaki? He's just a numbskull who fell right hmm. into our trap. Zaki was probably the best hidden of them all. My initial plan was to find Delavar first and then try to track him down. So who's the duck tail beard bearded That's what crook? Asked when we were at Uncle Anpu's house, right? Wait, so he No, he isn't. I just needed to tack on a random villager name to make the eavesdropper think that I was making some wild guess. Wow. Ah, you're too kind. So hmm? about what about how mercenaries only care about Laura? Does that bother you? Hmm. I don't think you're that kind of person. So sure. Because even without an employer you're hmm. helping us. <laughs> no. You two are pretty sharp. No, <laughs> I don't have anything against the Dendro. Hey, Austin. How far are you into this game? Um. I've heard a lot okay, of so about the lesser lord from Dunyarzad. The latest um update. Well, for for the main quest line was three point four, I think, or three point three. And this is. I'm pretty sure 3.1 or 3.2 content, so I'm uh, I'm still quite far behind in the main main quest line. I've still got like three or four acts left of this. Unless they were true, I've begun to realize that the sages are behind everything that's happened recently. The radicals' blind belief in King Deshret, making the Dendro Archon out to be an enemy. It's all the academia's trickery. Of course it is. But I see through it all. And unlike them, I can never be hostile towards anyone who's never done anything wrong. Alright. Anyway, hmm. it's like we're... Done with business here, so let's keep going. Back to... Our village, huh? I'll let you take it from here. Alright. I'll be in touch. Until then, please stand by. Got it. Candace will be okay on her own. She's been guarding Aru village for quite some time now. <laughs> While I'm questioning them, why don't you pass some time by exploring the area? I'll meet you back right. here tomorrow morning, traveler. Yeah, I do have some work to do, but hopefully I've got enough time tonight to do it. I'm not going to bed until I get it done. Even if it takes me all night. Dang it. <laughs> Crap. Ah, there we go. So, wait. Wait until what time? The next morning. Okay. So, 6 to 12, right? All right. I might be up until anywhere from 5 to 6 a.m. Honestly, it's a good thing. I took a bit of a nap, although I'm still tired as heck, and I don't know why. Hey, Dia. Hey, Dia. Right on time. Did we learn anything? We'll know any moment. I've been wondering. You seem to know Candace pretty well. We've known each other for some time now. Oh, I'm on <laughs> Yep. Yes, a on the other. Blah blah blah. Keep going, keep going. Yes, I was here yesterday to help out a little. Okay. To help out? You're doing what? Sharing some inter oh. interrogation techniques. Right. Come on in, everyone. Okay. Come We're on. coming in. Let's go inside. Come on inside. Hey Dan Ward, how you doing? 
Good to see you tonight. Sorry if my lighting isn't up to snuff. For, for me. Huh. Huh. What gave it away? no mask that can hide true bloodlust. I to work on my composure. Still, it's perfectly understandable why I'm angry. Yes, yes. Please, don't be this <laughs> well, she's just as terrifying as he is. <laughs> Yet you do not hesitate to place the lives of others at risk. The ones you call mad scholars are known to us as the village keepers. They are vital members of our community. And some even count them as fat. You come here to my village. And you treat my people as nothing more than stepping stones towards your goal. Tell me. Tell me. What, what do, you do you do to you in my position? Uh, mercy! You <laughs> made your bed. We may all be desert dwellers. <laughs> what the people of our village care little about which god is in power. Life may be tough and tiring, but we wish to preserve our way of life. A uh -huh. can only cause us to lose all that we have. Uh, we understand. We're sorry. Mine. I'll tell you everything I know. I'm <laughs> you might some mystery. Blah, blah, blah. Slip up. Uh, yes, it was all that mystery man's doing. He told us to spread the word about King Deshret's resurrection and talked us into helping him. Hmm. In return, he said he'll help facilitate the resurrection process. Where are the keepers now? I'm... That's one. <gasps> Strike. Wait. I'm telling the truth. We don't know anything. He got us to lure them out of their houses in the night with some kind of incense. We take them to a junction outside the village. Then the mystery guy takes them. Hmm. You gotta believe me, please. That was indeed the truth. Traveler, go on. Hey. <laughs> Do you have any idea who the person might be? You have to believe me. If I knew that, I would have told Kia. That guy, he wears a cloak. <laughs> I may know what's going on. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh. Smooth. Okay. If my suspicions are correct, this hmm. some time ago. People from the academia attempted to take the village keepers away. I uh. refused. It strikes me now that this secretive character shares the same goal they had. Which means it's highly mm. likely that the academia was purposely spreading a false rumor to put the people of delivering the village keepers right into their hands. <laughs> Quite possible. They were the ones who brought them here to begin with. Now Not the academia again. So Talia also mentioned King Desiree's resurrection is just mech just a misinformation campaign. Hmm. Just as I thought. But what could they want with the village keepers? People are nothing but tools in the eyes of the academia. Yep. Hey Jay, how you doing? Regardless. Our top You're right. Time to go. Let's leave Yes. You got it. Can't all right. Hey, T Toshiba, thanks for joining. <laughs> How you doing tonight? <laughs> Tired, but good. <laughs> As you can see, I am merely sitting here and revealing what we have deduced thus far. Uh, hey, so. hey, thanks for liking the live, man. I appreciate it. You never think. Go ahead, I won't stop you. <laughs> well, anyway. Bob, come on, think. I'm just surprised. Keep going. I decided to team up with him. 
Hey Jacob, how you doing? Hey Kevin, thanks for the helped us out at all. Thanks for joining the stream. Bold of you to quit. While you were investigating, I had my own work to do. To be honest, we aren't really a team. So I have not to mention that going so Correct. What did you learn? I'm going to take you to somewhere. But before that, you need to understand where she's coming from. Okay. How do you think the residents of Aru Village feel about what we're doing? In other words, do you truly believe every single uh, I see. Hiding the truth does not necessarily equate to lying. Remember what Candace said? Most people in Aru Village don't necessarily care which deity is in charge of Sumeru. Right. In contrast, the perils of their daily lives are ever-present concerns. They won't simply share mm. everything they know with you without good reason. That's why you believe there was no... Hey, thanks, Kevin. I appreciate you, man. Village. Glad you're following along. Among those you have talked to, there's someone who was consciously keeping you out of the loop. In fact, she's been observing your every move since you arrived. The reason being, to someone who only wants to live their life in peace, Oh, thanks, Kevin. I appreciate unpredictability it. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Don't change this. It's quite obvious that she's intimidated. Right. She corrected herself mid-sentence because she's aware that there are King Deshrick fanatics in the village. Mm. If she sounds too friendly... I think it's been a few days since <laughs> I last saw them. Remember? She made a point of denying her involvement in anything that occurs at night. I uh, see. Honestly? Sympathetic towards them, even though they act a little after speaking to the village chief, it became clear that the village keepers had protected Aru village at night. In other words, the young miss was very much awake during that time. Uh, By getting involved with the her pass on this, one. you said uh, that she is afraid of me. If so, it's best if I stay out of this. Right, hey, let's go talk to her. Where's she at? Right over here. Okay. I'm wondering, should I try to get Lynette? I mean, I could either get Lynette, or I could get Benny, or I could get a uh, consolation on Barbara. Okay. My favorite part of this game has to be the story. I mean, I will watch hours worth of content on YouTube on the lore of this game because I want to know as much as I can about the characters, about what the story is doing, everything else. In fact, I have a, a running tally of how many times um, different characters even talk about Conria because I want to know everything I can about the lost civilization that supposedly never had a god. Yeah, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna figure I'll, I'll at least get some new weapons. Maybe I'll get a character. Alright. None there yet. Ah, throwing tails. Nice. Alright. Got a slingshot. Awesome. What am I doing? I should at least get a 10 pull before I start pulling. Bad Gregory. Bad. <laughs> Miss Shawnee, as we discussed earlier, I brought someone with me. Mr. Alhaven, I'm aware of <laughs> Go ahead and talk to her. Go on. Earn her trust. Okay. I'll earn her trust. May I call you Traveler? Sure thing. Hi, Traveler. Do you think the resurrection of King Deshret can truly change some for the better? No. Why is that? Because it'll only result in conflict. It's very similar to what Miss Candace says. Not before, I wouldn't travel her. Do you believe our lives will get better? Working together, yeah. I can't promise anything, but I'll do the best I can. Yeah. Yep. And we want to help them. <laughs> I want to trust you. My 
apologies for posing my questions like that. But to be honest, I didn't expect you to come back for more information. <laughs> Yep. The fact is that I'm only one side of my family is desert folk. I don't really fit in anywhere in Sumeru. Poor girl. Some believe in the Dendro Archon, while others believe in King Deshret. Speaking of which, <laughs> the radicals mentioned that they despise traitors. Do they just think that anyone who is different from them is a traitor? All or nothing thinking it gets people all the time. Some people can be so narrow-minded when it comes to bloodline and beliefs. Slowly, I just stopped talking to people. <laughs> I pretended not to hear or she hear, She sounds just like me. All I want is to live my life in peace. I stopped talking to people because I didn't want to have anything to do with trouble. And then I end up, end up having trouble anyway because, well, you try and stay out of trouble and inevitably you end up in trouble. It never works out. When it happened, the village keepers who had helped me disappeared with no explanation. You can tell them. I'm sure she'll keep your secret. Yep. All right. I'll tell you what I told all of them. I actually have a sharper sense of hearing than most. Sometimes I hear strange crying sounds in the night. Uh. Perhaps. I'm not sure. It's faint. But it's definitely the sound of crying. Uh, I'm far away in the distance. And always carries very raw emotion. Oh, the poor things. It's louder and more frequent. But ever since you arrived in the village, it doesn't seem to happen as often. And when it does, it's much quieter. I confirmed this with the guards on night duty. Hmm. They also have someone with a good ear. And he's heard similar sounds at night. But because we're in the middle of a desert, you would rather believe that they are the cries of beasts than ghosts. I can make out where the sounds are coming from. There's really nothing around these parts, except for an old hospital not far from the village. I hospital, huh? Yeah, let's go. Oh no, an old plague hospital. Those things are terrible. You know, I've read stories about old abandoned plague hospitals and old abandoned, like, um, asylums from back in the old, old, old days where we didn't understand medicine. And they were horrible places to be. Terrible. I believe that they were ghosts. I really would. Even if there are no such things as ghosts, which is true, there aren't. I can imagine that the, that the pain that those places carry have to have some sort of a spiritual weight. Enjoy your stream. Have a good night. Hey, you too, man. Take care. Take care. Well, of course there's sand everywhere. It's a desert. An ideal place to hide people. <laughs> Everyone's all <tins. laughs> Holy crap. No escape. 
Is open. Let's go in and take a look. Nothing. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the, the gift, man. Patience. Shawnee says she only hears the crying at night. We have time to burn. Crap. Did I not hear anything because the alerts are off again? Alert Perry's, what are those? Okay, alert sound for follower alert, subscription alert, gift alert, yes. Minimum coins, one. There we go. That's why it wouldn't go. Until then, I'm taking a break. <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. <laughs> um, the natural position, which is a provisional. Positional contrasty of an entity in natural motion in contrast with an object in forced motion. Hmm. When free from external influences, every entity displays a tendency to follow its natural. Oh, 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 oh. A body in motion stays in motion, a body at rest stays at rest, unless acted upon by an outside force, and then it will change. It's momentum. That's the thing. Basically, this is the writings of this world's version of Newton. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, Paimon. It's simple. It's just physics. <laughs> It's not Paimon's fault. Not at all. Okay. Uh, Paimon, stop that. You'll make me yawn, too. <laughs> Darn you, emergency food. Darn you. <laughs> Why? You had to make me yawn, didn't you? You mean, mean thing. There it is. It's coming from that direction. Oh, no. Hmm? It's underneath. It's from below. Something is off about the interior here. Yep. There we go. Hmm. 
Let me guess. As I thought. There's Hidden no structure. Okay. Just as the elements of the world count seven, so do the days of the week. Okay. How many monuments around the hospital room? Okay. Gotta be one here. Shoot. There we go. And I'm gonna change the sensitivity on the camera. There we go, a bit better. Not great, but not horrible. Okay. Let's see. Ah, there we go. And we got an uh, Androculus. Yes, good, good. And now we've got the last one over here. Oh crap. Come on. Hey Dave, how you doing? It's been a good day, yeah. Been a pretty good day, actually. <laughs> Crap. Sorry, Nahida. There we go. Last one. Hey, no problem. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, and I want to make sure that you're doing okay. And that you're happy and healthy and everything else. Oh. Can't unlock that without the key. All right. Well, hopefully I was able to get through. Oh. Emergency notice. What the heck? Male, 23 years old, mole on the left side. Crap. I oh, couldn't read that that quick. Ball on the left side of forehead and left handed. Condition remains very serious. Survival will be difficult without professional medical care. Survivability once found, immediately inform. Don't give up, stay positive. All beings are under the watchful eye of the divine, so don't ever give up. Okay. This week's meals. Keep a balanced diet, rest regularly, and maintain a good mood. Minty bean soup, tautine, curry shrimp, piney puri. Salad, biryani, fish with cream sauce, and potato poop. Okay. Hey, you have a blessed night too, man. Take care of yourself. Shakshuka and bean cake. Oof. This week's shifts. Ibrahim, Tuesday. I'm assuming that's the doctor. Wednesday. Oof. Old face, huh? For Avin. Or Avin. Most likely Avin because that would be. We need to be careful. Slowly without alarming him, please. Thanks. Hey, Stem, Stem to Fair, how you doing? 
Huh. Huh. Didn't expect to see him here. Huh. He's Razak, a senior of Razak. Huh. He's a scholar too? No. And that's the problem. Huh. Razak was never involved in any of those things. He never trained in the forest, let alone reach Satyavada life. I know how he became like this. Forbidden knowledge. Canned knowledge. Leaving that question aside for the moment, Hamilton looks like they've already taken everyone away. For whatever reason, I uh. left Razak here. Hmm. There are drag marks on the ground. They're clear by the doorway. Someone was forcefully drawing a cart that was loaded with something heavy. Uh. That is one possibility. Uh. Hmm. It looks like they were in the hay, as if they were afraid of being caught. In their haze, they failed to notice Razak hiding in a corner. <laughs> the symptoms are identical. Looks like we found them living free. Oof. Allow me to jog your memory. Recall your time at Port Ormos. Don't oh, you yeah. think his symptoms look familiar? Oh yeah, the one gang leader. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. The my guy went mad. Correct. The academia is behind all of this. It isn't of difficult to deduce their rationale. First, the academia spread a false rumor of King Deshret's resurrection, emphasizing the role of the village keepers. These rumors were all the persuasion that the radicals needed, and those based in Aru village leapt into action. On, as well as being able to exploit the radicals for their own ends, this scheme has one further advantage to the academia. All the risks and responsibilities are offloaded. Life for the desert dwellers has been brutal ever since King Deshret's death all those years ago. Damn. Many would give everything they have for the prospect of something better. Yep. Even if complications arise, people will see that those involved are all followers of King Deshret and look for no further explanation than differences of belief. The notion of an academia thought wouldn't even cross their minds. It may seem like a simple strategy, but it is able to work wonders under Sumeru's current circumstances. Oh, True. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> one very important question. Wasn't it the academia that brought the scholars to our village in the first place? Why does it want them back now? Divine knowledge. One thing has changed. The scholars' the identity. First, yep. they were scholars. Then, they became lunatics. After that, they were exiles. An exile is still patently a living, breathing human being. But when someone becomes a missing person, that is brought into question. Oh, oh. If you can't find someone, you have no way of knowing what exactly happened to them. For what? One possibility is that the information in their brains could be extracted into knowledge capsules. With the technology of the Sumeru Academia, it's entirely possible. Perhaps oh. the process caused them great suffering. So, the human brain... No, no, no. no. I'm the academia scribe, after all. I'm familiar with their projects. And, uh, judging by Razak's state, the contents... Hey, Dave, good moments, to see you. His curiosity got the better of him, and he used such a capsule for himself. Uh. Divine Consciousness. The look on your face tells me you've realized the answer. The academia needs people who've been exposed to the Divine Consciousness. That's right. To some scholars, gaining knowledge about the gods is their entire life's pursuit. Oof. However, I can't help but wonder. What do they seek to gain from divine knowledge? The academia is going out of their way to look for forbidden knowledge. But what is their ultimate goal? No clue. I've spent quite some time trying to analyze the contents of the divine knowledge capsule, but to no avail. It seems like my way of thinking is too different from theirs. Yep. You mean you're not even slightly interested in getting your hands on this forbidden stuff? All scholars seek to expand the horizons of knowledge. I'm not particularly interested in gods, so I don't share their degree of zealotry. Extracting right. information from people as if they were lifeless objects? <laughs> they 
this is the direction of academic progress, then the academia may as well shut its door. Sounds like you're really of course. The academic, whether it be academics or yeah. this matter, needs to be corrected. Wait, Not to be callous, but no. My criteria are a little more restrictive. There is no shortage of suffering in Samaria. And the same can be said for the rest of Tibet as well. What do you plan to do about that? Save every last person? Uh, not. You can say uh. that. Simply put, I don't blindly place my faith into strength or heroism. The divine knowledge capsule is something I want to investigate in full. Uh. Dang. Your though I must say, uniqueness is also an asset, is it not? True. I'm just a more like So what do we do with him? Last long if we need him here. We'll work out our next Alright, and let's return to the village, huh? What's the situation? Mm. Unfortunately, somebody who's too young to take on the role of Isak's grandfather. Nevertheless, he's one of the people we're trying to... Mm. Dang. So, at one point in time, yep, their plan must have been implemented at some point before we arrived at Aru village. Yet, they fled once we were headed to the village. Almost as if they knew we were on their trail. We may have a mall and one of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the academic. Um, hello. What are you wearing? Huh? Are our friendships that shallow? Hmm. Looks like none of you have realized wherein lies the issue. Uh, hey, some you've realized it too, huh? China. You're the reason why they can. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Choose your next words, fairy. It is simply a logical inference. So what you're saying is interesting. And here I am. You have a point, <laughs> but I realized something as we were returning from the hospital. Sino isn't like. That. What are you trying to say? Do you still remember who you are? <laughs> as a matra, you are no doubt privy to certain kinds of information. Before you can take, simply put, the academia has traditionally allowed you access to a wealth of sensitive information. No, if you want to raise a vicious wolf, you need the academia is monitoring me. Yep. It's not that simple. The academia has eyes all over Sumeru, but they have a special protocol for dealing with you. Every so often right. comes a Yagarba day. On this day, the academia enters new information with the Akasha for knowledge. I remember seeing the thick notebook next to the control panel once. Its contents were all about the General Mahamatra, his activities throughout the day, preferred methods of enacting judgment. Everything. Everything. Oh. You're saying that the academia entered my information into the Akasha, but what's the point in doing that? My actions aren't important enough to be added into the Akasha. The Akasha is capable of computation. Oh, ho, ho. Prediction. The algorithms are entirely capable of predicting your movements using the data entered. When you would depart, the route you would follow, your destination. It knew all of this. Oh my goodness. The academia has been watching you longer than you think. However, the fact that you resigned is proof that their suspicions were well founded. So that's how it is. Sino adheres to his principles so strongly that he's actually a thorn in their side. Tenacity of will and steadfast faith are worthless for the academia. They need scholars who are easily pliable and mindlessly go after anything they can profit from. Yep. Sino, don't take it to heart. 
This just proves how much of a trustworthy ally you are. Yeah. They escaped because of me. Yeah. Exactly. I have an idea. If they predicted my movements, then I might. Whoa, if you bounce back. But... There is always an opportunity for safety after danger passes. True. Oh, One step behind. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to proceed in the direction opposite of where I'm going. You're getting smarter. <laughs> I must go. There's also something I want to investigate. Let's go, guys. After Alice, wait. I want to go too. Hmm. You want to go? I want to find. <laughs> Everyone, I leave them in your hands. Alright. Hey, let's go. I'm feels like we're missing someone though. Hmm. Alright. Next up. Falling Sina. <laughs> 